What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a very exciting opening. We managed to get the new collections that came out, one of the Great Ball and Ultra Ball for Hidden Fates. These things are massive, although most of it is empty space, so anyone that doesn't like to see, you know, unnecessary packaging, <laughs> this might not be for you, but uh, really excited to open this. You know, I kind of announced this in the last video, but we're going to try to transition to doing less frequent openings, but do opening more um, more packs instead. Uh, the fact that this one is soon after opening is just a fluke, uh, just because this thing just came out today, so we definitely had to open it. So I'm actually going to quickly open these, so it looks quite involved to get open, so we're just going to flash to the future. All right, so I got only one of them open, and for anyone who doesn't like excess plastic, yeah, this is the most complicated. This thing's like folds. These were for the the Pokeball itself, which actually is broken, so it didn't even work. This thing is like to hold all the packs, and it's yeah, very complicated. The only good thing I have to say so far, and like all there is is the the actual Pokeball, and then ten packs. So there's not a lot here, and or except for this promo. Which, the good news is that they did do a good job protecting it. Beyond that, oh my, holy plastic. And, uh, yeah, very strange. But, uh, alright, let's get into the other one. Alright, that was a little bit ridiculous how much plastic and stuff, or how complicated that packaging was. Let's take a look at this Ultra Ball. So, we got the Ultra Ball and the Great Ball. Let's just look at this one. Ah... Uh, I, it looks like you know it could you could display something with it kind of like open but clearly that's not the case maybe if you kept using the plastic that it provided um, as far as using this to hold stuff I believe I saw a picture like it can technically hold a sleeve deck but you probably don't want to close it in here it'll technically fit but doesn't it's pretty snug let's just leave it at that these promos do look amazing and they did the they packaged it well to protect the card, so that is the big plus so far of this product. These guys in a couple perfect fits. This will be, I believe, this this is going to be our biggest Hidden Fates opening to date. We have 20 packs. Here is a couple code cards. I'm guessing this comes with the Metagross. And then this one will be the Zorark. Ah, Zorark, such a good card. Alright, and let's move these off to the side. And we'll start with the... I believe these are the Metagross packs. So many that doesn't even fit. So let's go into our first pack. If, um, if you manage to find this product, I think it's okay to get one. Or actually, the way the easiest thing to look at it is... Where for the comparing it to the ETB, like the do you like the sleeves or the ETB box versus the ball, and then obviously you get different promos. But um, for the it is like the same price, so I don't think I don't have any issue with it. I think it's a fine product. Uh, but for our first pack, we have Geodude, Pikachu, and then a Mewtwo. Very nice pull right there with a Scyther Reverse. So, not a bad start to this opening. I'm gonna grab a sleeve for this guy real quick. If you're not familiar with this, I'm, I'm actually not familiar with the Metagross, but the Zorark is really good with the trade ability. Too bad it's rotated. Uh, essentially, you discard a card and then you draw two cards. And basically, most people will just set up a bunch of Zoroarks and they just cycle through their deck. And at the time, I think they use things like. Uh, something puzzle piece to basically put whatever cards they need back in their deck and then they could essentially draw everything every single turn to have some ridiculous kind of like control over your opponent. All right for pack number two we have a Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Kangaskhan is our rare and then a shiny belt. Whoa I feel like these sparkle things are like standing out way more than I recall. Oh, this is very interesting. So we'll show this is a Beldum that I just grabbed from my collection. And then this is the one we just pulled. 
Yeah, I feel like the sparkle is so much more pronounced in the new one. Is this like some kind of new printing or something? It's very subtle. They have the same texturizing. If anything, this one has less texture. But uh, hmm, if you know anything about that, let me know in a comment because uh, it's to a point where, yeah, I noticed it like right away. Either way, happy to pull a Beldum. And let's keep going. So many packs to open. Big shout out to all the people on the Discord and especially all the mods that kind of help set things up, um, keep the peace, uh, set up a lot of cool bots and stuff like that. To name a few, we got Ricky, Tim, Lou, uh, Saitama was helping us with the Pokecord stuff. Uh, turns out you can do all sorts of cool things with that thing. And uh, Tim, apologies if I missed anyone. Reverse Grass Energy. All right, we can still take those. Pokemon Lover 95 for being the basically the founder of the whole server. All right, let's get going. And uh, if you haven't, if you didn't know, we have started to do uh, some live streams. We won't have anything this weekend, but maybe sometime next week. Uh, we've been primarily playing PTCGO. And uh, yeah, it's been fun, really fun to play with you guys. And um, basically, I like it because when you kind of like just do a video, essentially you're just basically talking to yourself, you're talking to a microphone, uh, versus, you know, interacting with chat and stuff like that is definitely much more enjoyable and be able to play the games with you guys as well. So definitely enjoy, honestly, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. So looking forward to doing that more. Once Sword and Shield comes out, We'll be streaming that as well. I think I have it set up. The stream works. Uh, I suspect I've read that there's likely some kind of audio lag, so we haven't figured that part out yet. But uh, yeah, so stay, um, you know, keep an eye out uh, for us, those streams. We do it on YouTube and Twitch. We'll put some links in the description. And boom, our first really good hit, a shiny Zygarde. This is one that we do not have. So I wish I had like a new non-dupe hit <laughs> bell or something. Zygarde is interesting Pokemon. It reminds me of like Megatron. That's what I always think of whenever I see this. And the shiny version, it stands out. Uh, it's He looks kind of strange and all white, but uh, it's pretty cool. Not my favorite shiny version. But at least he's not just like a very slightly different shade. Ooh, I do like this, you know, doing bigger openings. It's like, oh my gosh, there's so many packs to open. We're going to get so many hits. The chances of like just getting shut out or especially for Hidden Fates is almost zero. Although it is quite pricey to make a video. We have Bill's Analysis, a very good trainer. Support. Oh, wow. That is a good hit right there. Of the non-GX Shinies, is this the most sought after one? Or at least like the one the highest price? It, I think so. It is the Energy Evolution EV. So it's a very useful card. And so if you want to swag out your deck, that's probably how you do it for any of these Energy Evolution decks. So far for this first box, we are doing quite well. I think we have four or five hits already, not including the energy. And we still have a bunch of packs left. So this is amazing box so far. Minus our last video, Hidden Fates has been very good to us as far as getting consistent pull rates. Even when we had the whole non <laughs> no shiny GX curse, we have a Charmander. Misty's Water Command. Ooh, we got something. Let me guess. Uh, that looked dark, so I'm gonna go with Giovanni. I feel like it's always Giovanni. Ooh, Bayonet, nice. Where's that bell? Ding, ding, ding. Another new card that we don't already have. Yeah, I say the bell and you get the siren. I'm not familiar with this card. Shady move. He only has one energy moves. Once in your turn, you... If if you're active Pokemon, you may move one damage from one Pokemon to another Pokemon. Interesting. Shadow Chant. Hmm. Doesn't sound that good. <laughs> uh, 10 more damage for each supporter in your discard pile. But 
for only one energy. So in uh, Cosmic Eclipse, there will be the Zatu that basically reduces your opponent down to one HP. Is it worth it to Zatu them and then switch into Bayonet and then switch back into Zatu then just move one damage to knock out Pokemon? I don't remember what Zatu's um, retreat cost is, but that's a pretty energy efficient way to, could be a potential energy efficient way to do loads of damage and then knock stuff out without even really attacking or, you know, without ever doing direct damage. All right, let's keep going. We have a Farfetch'd, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, a Snorlax. I think there's our second Snorlax and then another Reverse Energy. But uh, yeah, this first box, so this was the Metagross 10. Uh, as far as we'll see which one does better, but Metagross is really bringing the heat so far. Um, so there, I will be out of town this weekend, but again, so ex we, I will try to keep, uh, daily videos as close as possible, but essentially we're, we'll do two or three openings a week and hopefully have just different content, whether it's Pokemon Masters or whatever, market videos for, for the rest of the week. And like I said before, we'll be doing live streams as well. We'll take a little bit to nail down like a consistent stream schedule, but to be honest right now, we're just trying to feel things out, set up everything, work out the kinks and stuff like that. I'm definitely very new to it all as far as like overlays and stuff like that. So for our last pack in the Metagross box, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Lapras, very boring Pokemon. And then, oh, speaking of boring Pokemon, all right, so for our first box, and then, uh, actually, we'll just run this through this real quick. Oh, wait, this is not a hit. This is just from my collection. We did get two energies in grass and water. Bayonet, oh, two new shiny GXs in a single box. That's amazing. Eevee, three new cards, and then two additional hits. So we did get that five hits, so that 50% ratio plus some reverse energies. So Metagross, you did very well. Let me just clear away some piles. And we'll move on to the Zorark box. And uh, at this point, there will be only one, one more Hidden Fates product that is the Super Duper Hyper Premium Ultra Collection featuring, I believe it's either seven or 15 packs. Although that is the one that comes in with an MSRP of a whopping $100. At that point, we've steered away from that $5 price mark, which I'm not crazy about. All right, we have Magikarp. Oh, nice. This is the last one of the birds that we needed. So we've completed the birds. No, no massive double hitter, but yes, I'm really happy to have pulled this. I think um, one of the, one of the, our first giveaways, ah, the name escapes me who won it. But they pulled two <laughs> in a single, I think it was a pin collection box, or maybe it was a 10, but either three or four packs and they got two of these, which is absolutely insane. And we finally have our rainbow birds. Hmm, I maintain the full art one is just better. This is cool. Birds are super cool. And yeah, I'm kind of get over the whole rainbow thing. This one, like, it's kind of hard to see. So happy that we have it, but uh, yeah, it definitely goes stained glass, and then the full art, and then the rainbow, and then the regular. Although, to be honest, like, as far as which ones I like to look at, the, the regular is not too far away from the rainbow one. It's just kind of hard to see the lines. Alright, let's see. We got Chansey, Brock's Gym, Giovanni, Voltorb, Coughing, a Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, a Arbuck is our rare... Ooh, shiny Curlia. This might be Curlia like number five. And uh, yeah, the sparkles are much more pronounced. Let me know if you guys notice something very similar. It feels like a second printing where it's actually a little bit different. There's, I'm not sure if it's just more white in the sparkles or what, but it's standing out to me quite a bit.
Alright, we have Sabrina. <laughs> One thing about longer openings is like, I ran out of things to talk about. Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, a Mew, followed by Jolteon. Ooh, we haven't pulled our Vaporeon yet. <laughs> One more pack. Our Vaporeon, I bet it's gonna be right here, calling it. See, what else can I talk about? <laughs> uh, let's see, we, we've been doing some small giveaways on the Discord where I kind of like took a picture of all my Hidden Fates dupes and then we pick a couple people. We did it like twice so far. So four winners in total where they picked a couple or a dupe that they that they wanted from my collection to add to theirs. And then Car Cartana, another shiny, very pronounced sparkles again, and another dupe. So, so far we did get one massive hit that is brand new to our collection and our hit count is at three. We are at a very good pace. Let's see, I will be out of town so I'm not sure when I'll be able to get another market video out to you guys, but the Charizards are still on the, um, not the, what's the, on the, on the decline, I guess. The, I saw a PSA 10 Charizard for like 800 so I'm sure it'll continue to go down but like I'm enjoying watching it go down and it's like, all right when at this point it's like what when when do we think the bottom will be and maybe at that point maybe we'll pick up a PSA version we do have a loose copy um, but of course we're we want to pull our own one that would just feel amazing Jinx. Even if it was like uh, a PSA 10 one, obviously like has a lot of value, but as far as sentimental value between a PSA 10 that we bought off eBay and a PSA 9 that we pulled, to be honest, like the 9 would probably mean a little bit more to me, even if it wasn't worth as much. We have Mr. Mime and then Chansey. One thing about Mr. Mime on uh, the Discord, they uh, shout outs to Ricky. He set up a Pokecord box that you can kind of like just wild Pokemon appear in the discord and then you can catch them and then when Mr. Mime or Mime Jr. popped up I was like I have no idea what that is <laughs> every once in a while there's one I just completely blank and I feel like the entire server does because like you can tell usually when something appears people just start typing and then sometimes like hmm there's like a good five second pause and then some people start typing but nothing pops up for a little bit Jolt Ooh, we got another Jolteon. Where's that Vaporeon? Ooh, Rowlet. That is a cute shiny. Once again, those sparkles are very white. All right, we are at four hits, three packs left. So we're on track to surpass the number of hits, ignoring reverse energies for the Zorak Bark box versus the Metagross. But Metagross did have a lot of hits that were new to us. Although the Zorark did have the Rainbow Bird, so it's very close so far. We have Magmar, whoa, 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 Scyther, Brock's Grit, Charmander, Clefairy, a Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Jesse, and James. Oh, nice! That's a very good. Any, I say this all the time. Any evolution, we'll take it. I think we still need Leafeon. Happy to get multiple Espeons. So uh, I initially was trying to set up to do like a live stream opening this, uh, but I was trying to figure out how. So essentially, on the computer is where my mic is connected to, and I can stream from my phone. But then it's just streaming from my phone. I was trying to find like a mirroring. I did find a mirroring app where I could uh, basically just show the content of my phone on my computer to stream to you guys. Uh, but there was like some delay in that. So if you know a good way to do that, I, my thought is either I can continue to tick around to find a way to do that or buy a improved webcam to use for openings. But the phone just has excellent recording but I'm just not sure how to stream from that either that or I need to stream from my phone but connect my Yeti mic to the phone which I'm not sure if that's really possible either. We have an electrode and then a reverse energy. 
All right, so this is a very close match. I would say it's very much neck and neck. Comes down to this one to make the difference. I think this Zorark opening needs one more solid hit to take the victory from Metagross. Even though I think Zorark is better than Metagross, but that's a little unfair. So it's just going to be straight up the pulls. Here we go for our last pack. Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Jol Ooh, no Vaporeon this opening, but we have plenty of Jolteons to, to compensate. And uh, definitely, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, so, again, li less frequent of videos but we're going to be opening much more per video next one probably won't be till monday or tuesday um and here we go one two three boom Ooh, so viper that is new one thing about Viper is if i quickly showed you this and it like you, it wasn't obvious that it was a shiny i feel like a lot of people including myself wouldn't be able to say oh that's a shiny Viper. <laughs> uh when i first saw this in like a japanese or korean pack I had to look up the real Surviper, and I couldn't tell you the difference. I feel like it might be the red, or is it the yellow? That's my point. This thing's kind of hard to tell. But let's go through the hits for the Zorark. One Reverse Energy. Then we have Surviper, Netnu, Rowlet Dupe, Kartana Dupe, Curlia Dupe, Espeon Dupe, and then the Rainbow Birds. I feel like Zorark had better pulls but metagross brought us a lot more more stuff that we have not been able to obtain in our collection um so i feel like i steer it towards zorark but metagross you know was super close uh if not if you're just thinking from a collection point of view metagross took it but uh i guess to go through so from 20 packs we have so many hits you know a lot of a bunch of people have been asking like oh are you excited for cosmic eclipse are you gonna open cosmic eclipse like absolutely we're gonna open cosmic eclipse but it might be a little painful to transition back to like a gx hit or better every six packs or something like that where in a booster box you can get like six so from that perspective unless they keep like the i felt like unified minds had uh better pull rates maybe they're going to keep that that would be great definitely so but either way guys thanks for watching um as always like comment and subscribe all down below stay tuned for future streams and uh i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time